Former President Olusegun Obasanjo worries Nigeria is slowly decaying into a failed state. And in response to Obasanjo's statement, Garuba Shehu, Afeniferi, and Ohanese are in a war of words. This is Plus Politics. I am Kayode Ladeinde. Welcome to Plus Politics. Former Nigerian President Olusegun Obasanjo is in the news again. And this time he has stated that Nigeria is slowly becoming a failed, divided state. Obasanjo said he has never seen the country in such a bad taste, blaming the current state of the country on poor management of the nation's diversity. He advised that the problem of disunity must be addressed. Joining us to discuss this is Yinka Odumakin, the spokesperson of Afeni Ferry. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, good to have you. Let me start from um, your recent statement, uh, the interview you granted Punch newspaper, and where we got that coinage that the real divider in chief is not. Uh, um, Obasanjo, rather, is President Muhammadu Buhari. Were you in any way misquoted? I, I was not misquoted. I spoke clearly. This country has now been badly divided than it has been done in the last five years. And it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's cheeky and very funny for anybody to now say that Obasanjo the divider into. We knew that when Abbasio was president of Nigeria, all he did was to manage Nigerian diversity. In fact, the problem he had with Yoruba people was that there was a feeling that was managing and pandering more to the interests of the North than that of the Yoruba. I recall it. When there was this problem in Lagos, the clash between OPC and outside, outside traders, there was a big fight. What Obasanjo did was that he detained the late daughter of Freddie Fasim and Ghani Adams. He took them to Abuja. I went to see them in prison just to show that he was not siding with Yoruba people. Is that what we have been having the last five years? Can you remember when Mithiala killed over eight, seven, almost 80 people in Benue State on January 1, 2018? The presidency invited the governor of Benue to Abuja and lectured him on how to go and live in peace with those who are killing these people. Is that how to put the country together? Definitely no. I think I said on this program last week, and two weeks ago, the Council of State met, and after the meeting, the Secretary of the government, Vos Mustafa, announced that a Christian from Nasarawa was approved as the chairman of the uh, Population Commission. The NTA announced that in their news, 9 o'clock, before the end of the news, they review that man's name and subscribe with, with a Muslim. Is that how to put the country together? Okay. Look at what this government has done between Mehitiala with headers and farmers in the last five years. Okay, Mr. Yinka Odumaki, I'm, 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 I'm not trying to I'm not trying to stop Nigeria. you from uh, Mr. Yinka Odumaki, I, I will quickly take a yeah. short break and see how we could set uh, some kind of illumination on your background because uh, it's a bit dark and we want the viewers to see you clearly. Welcome back. It's still Plots Politics. In case you just joined us, we've been speaking with the spokesperson of Afeni Ferry, Mr. Yinka 
Odumaki, who is just giving us a bit of a background to the statement that was credited to him on Punch newspaper. Eke Odumaki is back. Please, you can conclude your thoughts, your opening thoughts. Yeah, so I'll say that either in his first or his second coming, Abbasino can be accused of so many things, but nobody can accuse him of dividing Nigerians. Unlike this government that in the last five years has feasted on Nigerians false lines, either taking side, either with headers against farmers, Muslims against Christian, North against South, there is no effort by this government to bring Nigerians together. It's to play on our fault lines. And that meeting of a subject called Nabuja, there was Afeni Ferry there, or Hanese was there, Indubeto Mokoko was there, Northern Edda's Forum was there. Has this government made any effort to bring all these groups together to discuss Nigeria? No. So, Abbasino should be commended for talking with his colleagues to bring out that meeting. Okay. We met on Wednesday. By Thursday, the meeting continued with the chairman of the Governor's Forum, chairman of APC Governor's Forum, and chairman of PDP Governor's Forum. That cannot be a, a, a meeting to divide Nigeria. That's a meeting to pull Nigeria together so that I can sink our differences. And this government is encouraged to emulate such behavior rather than dividing Nigerians the way it's currently doing. Okay. We very last week, you got, let's, Minister, let's also go let's, let's look at the context of that statement by uh, Garba Shehu. Uh, I'll read it clearly. He said, the difference is clear from the lofty heights of Commander-in-Chief General Obasojo has descended to the lowly level of Divider-in-Chief. Probably Garbashu, if you were to be here, is also seeing what you're seeing, that uh, President Olusha Obasojo was coming from a lofty high. He was known to be a detribalized Nigerian. He was even reported, like you said, to even, you know, serve the interests of Nigeria at large rather than his ethnic enclave. But this seems to be the language that he seems to have abandoned that position. There has been more of drumming the war of the North against South rather than promoting it. The meeting was to promote Nigerian unity and democracy, which they have not done. We remember... In 1990, in 1999, when Gerard Buhari came to Ibadan to, 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 to fight with Lamadish, the then governor, and, and, to, and was telling him that, oh, your people are killing my people. And, and Lamadish was asking that team, you are a former president. How can you come here and be talking about your people and my people? That's was the record. It was because you, with that time that we were taking side with herdsmen against farmers in your state and saying your people are killing my people. And so if there's anybody that's give me a lesson on how to promote Nigerian unity, it is Garba Shield's boss and not the other way around. Okay, let's also look at uh, the man of Asojo and probably uh, some of us are looking at the fact that, um, uh, uh, you know, if you look at the statement credited to Garbashu, he drifted into the issue of look at what uh, Buhari is doing. Buhari is making effort, even address the West African head of state by reminding them, do not attempt to go beyond your tenor. Unlike Obasanjo, according to him now, who sought to attempt and probably to also, for the benefit of hindsight, one of the books you wrote against Obasanjo or about Obasanjo also pointed some of this issue. What do you have to say about that? Well, clearly, I'm, gonna say that I, I, I'm not saying that Obasanjo is a saint. I've told you that there are things you can accuse Obasanjo of. But you cannot accuse Obasanjo of, of dividing Nigerians, playing them against themselves, 
the way this government has been doing in the last five years. That's what I'm saying. Either in office or out, out, out of office, the unity of Nigeria has been very germane to Obasanjo. I am saying, I'm not saying that he's a saint. I'm saying that there are things you can accuse him of. We cannot accuse him of dividing, playing on Nigerian fault lines. No. You know, some of the criticism against the likes of Afeni Ferry, maybe you in particular, is the fact that there seems to be too much uh, definition of, oh, uh, uh, it's you, let me use the word of some of your critics. They will say you are just an ethnic champion and you're find, you know, finding the embers of discord by some of your rhetorics. Uh, is there any lesson to also learn from the nationalistic uh, attitude of Obasanjo now to the Afeni Ferry or to you in particular? There is, no, there, is no, there is nobody except those who make empty rhetorics and lies and deceptions. Who can say they are more nationalistic than us? Hmm. We have promoted the interests of Nigeria more than anybody. And in fact, even if we are talking of ethnic, ethnic ethnicity, Yoruba, 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 the Yoruba people are the ones who can beat their chest and say, we have never called for Nigeria to be dismembered. Even when we had the 12 crisis, all we are calling for was justice. We've now said, let's break up Nigeria. Those who are saying that they are Nigerians, we know those who, 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 we don't do that. Whenever we feel this, 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 this unhappy, we call for justice. We have promoted the interest of Nigeria more than any other person. So for anybody to say that we are finding embers of discord, that's a total lie. Okay. Yes, it, it cannot be succeeded in any way. Okay, one of the criticism against uh, former President Olusha Gombasojo is that uh, it's always believed that he's the only person that knows the problem and the solution to Nigeria. Uh, I'm sure I can remind you some of those uh, issues you also had against him when Jonathan was in power, when he tried to take the shine of the sitting president. That seems to be the grouse this current administration have against Obasanjo. Any word of caution to Obasanjo himself? Well, uh, uh, clearly, I'm not saying that Obasanjo is a perfect man. But as far the way this administration has run around this country, I think he's very right in his criticism. He has spoken the hearts and minds of many Nigerians that this country is not being run properly. And we may... People, well, people may say, well, it should, it should speak more. In, pri in private with this government. But that's, that's if, if they are listening. So, but they cannot, you cannot say because of Asijo, I've been criticizing many people, uh, the, the, the criticism of this government is not right. This government has to do more to reassure Nigerians that it believes in Nigeria. I mean, how can, how can a government go and bring in an executive bill on waterways, which was killed by the 8th Senate, to go and revive it, to, for, for, in whose interest? The issue of land is settled, land use act, it's in the Constitution. But it's part of what this government is doing of causing divisions among Nigerians. Why, you are a negotiator. That bill says that dragon will own 18 kilometers after every river. Where, where is the river in Lagos that you go a kilometer before you start getting to the same buildings? Why do you want, what, why, what, what are you doing? Why are you bring such a bill? Okay. You can tell me one thing that this government has done that has been in the interest of promoting national unity. Okay, uh, uh, don't worry. After this interview, We'll have somebody from the president. Bringing Nigerians together. 
Okay, after this interview, we'll have somebody from the presidency who will respond to some of these answers. I don't want to be the devil's advocate last time around. But still staying on uh, um, some of the issues that have been cropped up. Uh, I hear this conversation among the political elites where they will say that uh, when you talk about uh, this current administration, that the Southwest should be the least set of people that should be complaining. We have the Southwest has the vice president, the Southwest has the, remember the Minister of Power, Works and Housing, which has now been reduced to two. The Southwest has this and it has that. The, the Southwest people that are complaining are those people who were not elected or who are not in power. Hello? Yeah, did you hear my question? That, no? I said the argument in some quarters is that the people in Southwest, that Southwest should be grateful to this administration in terms of uh, uh, appointment, in terms of uh, cohesion, in terms of unity, that we have a Southwest as the vice president, we have the Southwest as the minister of power. You remember in their first term, the minister of finance was also from the Southwest, that the people who seem to be crying foul are those people who are not uh, political office holders? What do you have to say to those critics? Oh, well, well they, they, are, they are free to say what they want to say. We are, it has been clear that we were never about offices. Some of the people who hold offices in this government today, who are from here, they are, they are, they are not serving the interests of democracy and interests of Nigeria. They are serving their benefits, their pockets. What when we talk, when we speak, we are speaking in for interest of, for nationhood, for the project Nigeria, for the whole country. It's not for our benefit, for, for, it's not for what we can benefit from this government or any government at all. We are for larger picture and larger interests all the time. Okay. I, I think I love that. And that brings me to what you've always advocated. And does Obasanjo also represent what you've always advocated as uh, a Feni Ferry or as a pan Yoruba group talking about restructuring? Why didn't Obasanjo fix that? And should Obasanjo be the person that should be talking? Because the big argument is we cannot ignore the messenger. Oh, well, cl clearly, you know, is. a... Uh... If a person is saying the right thing that should be done for our country, uh, it's not about just uh, saying that uh, we're maligning him. He is this. If those who are in power are not doing the right thing, we should tell them to do the right thing. It's not about saying that, oh, uh, the person that is telling them uh, did not do it when he was there. That cannot be a defense for thing. No. OK, so uh, in, in moving forward, uh, how do we have this kind of cohesion? Because we're talking about two big personalities. We are talking about two elder statesmen. And like they say, the generals may meet someday, and it might just be an issue of who sent those boys to go release those comments. So how do we, are we sure? that this is actually from the heart of heart? Uh, well, 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 it's clearly, whatever the president's uh, say, uh, spokesman, whatever they put out, you, you cannot say that they didn't discuss, discuss the president before they went to research the statements. The bitterness with which those boys, which is the president's boys are speaking, reflects the mood of the president. And what we say is that the president should call his boys to they should be. They should be more. They should become more presidential. They every, every time they talk like war, like like those who are they, are, they are see they are as war with the rest of the country. They should speak more in a way that promotes national unity, cohesion, and understanding, and be more become more presidential, rather than continue in their divisive tendency of. Running Nigeria as session against session, which okay. they continue to do okay. all the time. That is not good for our country. Okay, without conceding. The kind of initiative for passenger took 
of calling social cultural groups across the year together. They are the ones that should have done this, this kind of thing. Not the former president. They have a greater stake in the country rather than just divide Nigerians the way they have been doing. Okay, Mr. Yukon Maki, let me give you one minute to tell us because it is often said that uh, so that we are not accused or you are not accused of being just a critic without showing us the way. Where is the way yeah. forward? How do we move away from this? Uh, 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 what former President Olusha Gonbaso just described us as going adrift? Ah, uh, well, cl uh, clearly, uh, even the minister, even the minister of finance, told, told us today that our revenue has dropped by sixty-five percent. We should, we should, we should look at ways to make this a productive country. Uh, some of us have commented openly what San State governor is doing in terms of mining their gold. We should, we should, we should begin now to ensure that we begin to deal with our solid minerals. We can't continue to share our money. We can't make progress that way anymore. We must promote the dialogue that ensure that we become a productive country where we are producing, we are talking about production, rather than just sharing or going about borrowing money everywhere we can see uh, debt to collect. We can't go on that way. Uh, leaders of Nigeria should sit together. We should see how to move this country forward. We cannot continue spending over 90% as overheads. No country can make progress that way. Okay. These are issues we should address. Okay. Not just promoting uh, ethnic hate, promoting headsmen, dividing Nigerians, dream of centralization. Okay, thank you no. so much. Uh, your your time is... Yeah, uh, I'm so sorry yeah. the time is up for us to end this segment. Thank you so much, Yinka Odumaki, spokesperson of Afeni Ferry. Thank you for your time. Thank you. My, my pleasure. And to our viewers, thank you for staying with us. We'll take a short break now. And when we return, we'll hear from the side of the presidency. Please don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.